Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make bone broth that I feed my dog and my cats. So bone broth is something that's really healthy. It's also super, super easy. You don't really have to do anything to make it. Um, it's really healthy. It's really good for digestion. So if you're um, pet has diarrhea or stomach problems or anything like that. It's really good to feed your pet. It's a liver detox. It supports um, your pet's immune system. So if your pet is sick or doesn't have an appetite, bone broth may calm the stomach and get your pet eating again. Like I said, it's super easy to make. You cook it for a really long time. A slow cooker is best. If you don't have a slow cooker, you can just put it in a stove, or sorry, in a pot on your stove, and keep it on the lowest possible setting for as long as possible. They can be either raw or cooked bones. Um, they can be any bones, really, as long as they have cartilage. So I'll show you how I make it. So to make the broth, I use these beef bones I'm going to be putting them in the slow cooker not for you Zoro not for you and now I'm just going to fill it up with water just so it covers the bones. Okay, the bones are covered with water and I'm going to turn this on to low for 10 hours, so the lowest setting at a long time. And just let it sit. So this is what it looks like after it's been cooked the 10 hours and cooled. So I'm just going to remove the bones and put it in a container and it's ready to go. So I got two containers and this is what's left. I'm just going to be um, throwing this away. Zoro, she's already drinking it. So you can feed it just like this or mix it into the food. Penny, down! Wait. You can take off the fat if you want on the top if it, you find that there's too much fat or you don't want your dog or cat eating too much fat. Um, when it's cold it turns into like a jelly consistency so that's when you know you've done it the right way and you've cooked it long enough. And um, you can put it in small like ice ice cube trays so you can just pop them out when you need them or you can put it in a large container or you can keep it in your fridge for a few days but if you make a big batch definitely freeze it and don't keep it all in your fridge also not all animals will like it my dog loves it two of my cats like it and two of my cats don't touch it but if I mix it in with their food, they like it. So try it maybe first by itself and they might just drink it up like water. Or um, if they don't do that, then just mix it into their regular food. And I have Zorro down here pawing at my legs. You want to say hi, Zorro? Zorro's one of the... This was actually the first batch of bone broth that Zorro ever tried, and he loved it. Say hi. Zorro. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, what are you doing? What kind of cat is this? <laughs>